Hey ho guys! In today's episode we're gonna see how to connect Bitwig with VCV Rack using Jack Audio. We will also replicate in Polygrid the hardware CV instrument, so we're gonna send pitch and gate information from Bitwig to VCV and receive back the audio. Let's start connecting VCV to our Jack Audio server. For this we're gonna open the plugin manager in VCV and install the Jack Audio modules made by Skyjack. After starting VCV, we can add the 4-in and 4-out module we just downloaded. We can now rename the ports. We're gonna need two ports to receive gate and pitch signals from Bitwig and two ports to send a stereo audio signal back to Bitwig. We can now connect the main outputs from the mixer to the audio left and audio right port. We're gonna also connect the pitch to our volt per octave input of the VCO and the gate to the gate input of the envelope generator. We can now go back to Bitwig, open the audio settings and create the connections to VCV. We will add a stereo input pass to receive the audio and connect it to the two ports we just created in VCV. We can now make uh, two mono outputs bus for pitch and gate and assign them to pitch in and gate in in VCV. We're gonna make now a new polygrid device. So we're gonna use polygrid to generate CV signals from the MIDI keyboard. We're gonna connect a pitch in module with a CV pitch out and we're gonna assign the destination to the pitch output bus. We're gonna do the same with gate but this time with a CV out module that we're gonna assign to the gate output bus. We need now a hardware input module to receive back the audio and we're gonna select our stereo input pass from VCV. Now we just need to get the audio out of Polygrid, connecting the audio out device. If I play now with a MIDI keyboard, we should be able to hear the sound coming from VCV. I prepared now a simple MIDI pattern so we can test the latency. We will record the sound coming from Polygrid in a new audio track. As you can see we have 27 milliseconds of latency and we can compensate this latency with a device called Time Shift. In order to work, it's important we put it or in front of Polygrid or inside the note effects of Polygrid. We can now select milliseconds and move uh, the knob to the left until we reach 27 milliseconds. Since adding more modules in VCV can add also more latency, we can create a macro for later use. As you can see, the audio is now perfectly in time. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. In the next episode we will see how to send, receive and use much more signals between Bitwig and uh, VCV. So please subscribe and thanks for watching.